Hi guys, it's Sherry. Today we're going to be working on some pens. I know one of my very first tutorials, I showed you how to do a pen and over the last year of me working with polymer clay, I kind of learned some new ways of doing it. So I just wanted to kind of show you a faster and easier way of doing it. So first you're going to get your big pen and you're going to take your ink out. And then you're just going to kind of, I have this clay rolled out to my thinnest set in two, just to let you know. You're just going to lay your pen down and lift up your clay and carefully put your clay up against the pen so you don't get air pockets. And then once you feel it kind of stop, it'll leave a mark and you know that's where you need to cut off the excess clay. These pens are wonderful um, ideas to do for like craft shows. I actually have a craft show coming up at my daughter's school. So my idea is I'm going to do this craft show and it's based off of kids doing their little holiday shopping. So what can I make that the kids are going to like that are not going to cost a lot of money? Because holiday time... Parents want their kids to pick out little gifts, but they don't want their kids to spend a lot of money. So these pens are perfect. You have old canes laying around, use them. Wrap a pen, put cane on it, perfect. And sell it for five, six dollars. It's not going to take a lot of time and it does not cost you a lot of money. And the kids are going to love it and they're going to have a fantastic little gift to give to their friends or their parents. So as you see, I've rolled this. If I have a air pocket, I just slice it and then I press that air out and re-roll it. I'm going to take my top here. I'm going to take off the little excess and then I'm going to push it down to flatten it. So now you can see I just trimmed that up and I'm pressing this down and now that's ready. I want to make sure no air bubbles are in here. And there's one little one. I'm going to show you a couple that I did already. This is my daughter's. She chose silver clay and I think it came out beautiful. And she wanted little butterflies and flowers. So this still needs to be baked. And we also have little ladybugs. And this time we are going to just do a bunch of little flowers. So I took this cane and I reduced it because I wanted tiny, tiny flowers. So I am just going to slice up some cane here. And I think the pink is going to look great against this black. I'm just going to set this cane right on top. I'm going to make sure I'm doing them different sizes. Maybe I'll do one big one right down here. And one big one. Let's take this one off carefully. And we're going to do one big one here. And let's roll this and see what we got. So once your cane is on, just kind of push it on there. Make sure they're not going anywhere. And then carefully roll your pen. We want to make sure that our clay is going into the black clay and it's going to become one piece. Let's see how nice it's looking. 
And then this way you can see if there's anything else you want to add. I'm going to add a few more small ones. Let me get one here. I'm going to reduce this a little bit more so I could get some real tiny ones. And I'm just going to kind of stick these smaller ones around here where there's space. One right up here. Maybe one right there. And we'll do one tiny one down here. Okay. Now let's roll that again. And look how beautiful, simple and easy guys. And really truly doesn't take much time at all. So now this piece, I'm going to clean it up here. See, I have the excess here. I'm going to clean that up. And then I'm going to put this in the oven at 275 for a full hour with the rest of them. And when they are cooled off, we will come back and assemble them. Okay, guys. So now my pens are out of the oven. They're completely cooled off. And you can see how beautiful these came out. This one I did all different kinds of butterfly cane. And then here's our flower one, and it has a little bit of glitter on it. We have the ladybug. And then some more. Just, this one has multiple butterflies. I really think the silver looks pretty cool. This is the one that I showed you earlier that my daughter wanted. And then here is another butterfly. So you can see you could use just any old cane that you have. And the pens just come out gorgeous. So the last thing to really do is if you want, you can sand them down. But I think these are pretty good. So I'm not going to worry about them. And then you just take your ink and you push it back in and your pen is complete. So very simple. So I hope you guys enjoyed this simple pen tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.